Welcome to another 254 repair video on computer repairs. In this case, we're going to go ahead and repair a MacBook Air 1369. In this um, case, we're going to replace a broken screen on the MacBook Air. So we're going to go ahead and get started and remove the screws that uh, secure the bottom plate, bottom aluminum plate of the Mac. Once we remove the screws, we're going to go ahead and get started with the hinges. As you can see, we had fast forward most of the video, so you are not there bored watching us remove a screw for 30 minutes. So let's get started. We'll remove the three screws that uh, hold down the hinges on, the, uh, on each side of the screen. Once we remove the hinges, we're going to go ahead and remove other parts of the Mac that are required in order for us to get access to that LCD. Uh, on the right side of the Mac, you will find where the charging port and other um, connectors are, and we're going to go ahead and remove that. Before we get started, as you can see, we go ahead and remove the LCD connector and the battery connector. We, don't not, we do not want to go ahead and work on it with power just in case we drop a screw in the logic board on the board it will damage it we're going to remove that charging port daughter board if we can call it that that's where the charging port and uh, other connectors are on the right side of the mac if you're looking at it upside down and once we remove that uh, logic board, uh, that, that daughter board, which requires unplugging that flex cable and removing the fan, we'll have more room to remove the Wi-Fi cables that are run under the logic board. You are not required to do this, but I'll tell you it would make your repair a lot easier and it is not that hard to put it back. We'll remove that um, power connector to the uh, charging port of the computer will remove the fan the fan is uh, hold down by two screws if I remember correctly and obviously the connector so we remove it and now we have full access to the daughter board we remove the daughter board and now we will have full access to the Wi-Fi cable that runs under it and under the logic board. Excuse my hand, be, my hat being on the way. Uh, you'll see it a couple more times, but uh, I promise you it won't be that hard to see the repair. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, see my hat one more time. And once the hat is out of the way, I'll tell you what I was doing, which is removing that coaxial cable that goes all the way from the right side of the screen to where the Wi-Fi uh, card is. Once we remove that, we're going to go ahead and proceed to remove that screen from the computer, from the laptop itself, from the MacBook Air. We do that by lifting the computer just like if you were opening to use it, which will open the hinges. Once the hinges have enough room, the laptop comes right off of the screen. Now we can put the laptop away and put our new screen uh, in place so we can uh, go ahead and put it in. Now, uh, this part we're going to really fast forward because the rest of it is basically unpacking the new screen. We take all those pieces of cable that are protecting the uh, connectors and the cables and so forth and so on. We will leave the one behind the computer and the one protecting the screen because we don't want to get a scratch during, during the repair process. Place the computer in the same angle and then we use a, a couple pliers and we bend those hinges back in place. We push them down with our fingers and we are ready to start reconnecting everything back in place. So, as you can see, that Wi Fi cable is the reason why we had to pretty much take apart so much of the computer. 
that Wi-Fi cable is stuck under um, the um, almost under the logic board, and it sneaks out just enough to hook up to that Wi-Fi um, card. At this moment, we are just reversing the process of taking it apart. So basically, just make sure that you put everything back where you got it from. Uh, the Wi-Fi cables in the same place where they where they were taken apart. And now we're gonna go ahead and put that daughter board and that fan back in place. Don't forget to reconnect all the flex cables, the fan cable, the power cable coming from the daughter board put back the screws and uh, one thing that you will notice is that the screws have different length so make sure that when you take it apart you keep track of which screws what where it goes which screws goes where sorry now notice in the video that uh, we having a little bit problem with the uh, the fan putting it back in place uh, we made a mistake on the video and that was removing that rubber from the fan uh, do not make the mistake, and if you do, it's not a big deal. The only thing that you got to make sure is that that rubber goes exactly in the same position that it went in uh, originally from the, from the factory. Uh, the reason why is because that is going to affect the cooling of your MacBook. So you don't want to make that mistake, and if you do, don't worry about it. Uh, it's not a big deal as long as you put it where in exactly the same position. You don't want to leave it. Uh, pinch or covering the fan or something like that so now we're gonna go ahead and move on and put the uh, the hinges the, the three screws that hold down the hinges once we are done with that the only thing left that we got to do since we already reconnected everything um, is um, put in the uh, well actually we haven't reconnected everything we haven't connected the LCD uh, connector which is that one that you see by on the left side that is sticking out once we stick that one that's that once we put that uh, LCD connector in um, we are pretty much done we're gonna go ahead and test the computer and make sure that our repair worked uh, when you put the flex cable that you just noticed that we put in don't put it over the fan it goes that it has that curve to allow the fan to rotate without any interference we put the plate in we do not put the screws and we're just going to test and voila we got a perfect working lcd so we're going to go ahead and finish the job put the LC put the screws back in and call it a day we fix a macbook air and um and on real time this repair took us about 39 minutes if i remember correctly we just edited to make sure that you don't get bored watching us if this video was useful for you, uh, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave a comment and thank you very much for watching.